Thanks for joining Ron and Marty. We appreciate the opportunity to share our life stories with you, some of which will be funny, some of which will give you a little bit of insight into us. But I think the greatest benefit of this weekly podcast is going to be some life stories that we have experienced and we've learned from them. Perhaps you too can learn from them to pass forward to some others within your circle of influence. Our heart desire is to learn from what we have done in the past, some of which would be great to pass forward. Some are going to be the type that been there, done that, not going to do that again. So come on, let's join together, let's share, and let's just have a good time together sharing, learning, and advancing others. Ron, today we are talking about us. We're going to explain to our audience what we do. Tell us what you do in this business. Marty, I'm a catalyst to transform a person's mindset from what I call one of quiet desperation to one of confident assurance. A catalyst in this context is a person who inspires action. The way I accomplish this is through public speaking. Also, we partner with principle-based organizations, and we have a podcast series we call Overcomers Overcoming. I've learned through life experience, there are many people all over the socioeconomic spectrum who are living lives of what I call quiet desperation. That is, they are living lives that are manifesting Various aspects of feeling insecure, they have anxieties, they're lonely, they're uncertain, they're uncertain just what their worthiness is. A lot of this is an aspect of low confidence, low self-image. I experienced a lot of this in my life, and I am reflecting on those things that may have brought those things about, and I want to be a catalyst to help others overcome what it is they've experienced in life. And Marty, one of the things I learned as I have reflected on life and how it used to be is words matter. I know there are many times we and many who have spoken with me have said things that are meant well, but I process them in many different ways. We all have a need to be accepted and God created us to function best through connected relationships. And Marty, I know that when we are connected with people who genuinely care for and about us, we can do really well. But when we're not certain of those things, we might feel, but I'm not sure who cares whether I'm even here. Some people are confident enough to ask for help. I was not. Some people will seek help. I definitely would not, and I would not, because that would be a form of affirming my low self-image. So what we do, Marty, is adapt ourselves to people through listening, and what we're doing is collecting what I call data points of what a person says. I collect those data points mentally, not with any purpose of judging or stigmatizing, labeling, but rather to assess where a person is through that And through discernment, I can hopefully determine where a person may be. One of my guiding principles is I would rather apologize than eulogize, meaning if I misassessed any of the data points, I'd rather apologize to you than dismiss something you may have said and only find out that, well, you were suicidal and we're here to eulogize you. We advance people through three ways, public speaking. I include life stories and things that have brought me through various things. In my life, there were four men who were very instrumental in helping me overcome a very low point in my life. We partner with organizations to help them develop a culture of trust, loyalty, and we have the podcast of Overcomers Overcoming, where we profile those who have overcome and are in the process of being a very positive impact on others. Through this, we're having a very positive impact. Marty, tell us, what is your role in our business? Ron, I'm the business manager. I've heard women say, oh, I could never work with my husband. And maybe I thought that when the two of us had jobs outside the home. Now, I really enjoy working with my husband. We've had our challenges. We've had to learn to adapt to each other. It's really working out well, and I enjoy it. 
As the recipient of your leadership in business management, I have learned two extremely important words are, yes, ma'am. But I will tell you, Marty, in hindsight as well, but it's some guiding principles. A book Willie Jolly wrote, a setback is a setup for a comeback. We need to have that kind of an attitude that there's no setback that's going to permanently keep us back. The other one I mentioned uh, briefly is I'd rather apologize than have to eulogize. And I want to be forward enough, confident enough that I can confront. And I know a lot of people don't like that word, but I do want to be able to effectively work with in an empathetic way. And then finally, I know we are only prisoners of our past by our choice. All of us came from whatever environment, and some of us may say, well, that's all I've ever known. We can be a chain breaker. We are only a prisoner of that background by our choice. We can take a different route. Marty, I want to thank you for being my consummate business partner of, as of this recording, 54 years. You've been my girlfriend for 56 years. The difference between the 54 and 56 is it took me 18 months to gather the courage to ask you for a date because I thought there was a possibility you'd turn me down and you may be the last person I would ever ask for a date if I got one more rejection. Thank you for being my life partner. Let's go for it. Yes, I'm glad I waited. You can learn more about Ron and Marty by contacting them at ron at thecooperculture.com or Marty, M-A-R-T-Y, at thecooperculture.com or look them up on their website, thecooperculture.com. And the other way is to search for them on eSpeakers, plural, dot com and search for Ron as a keynote speaker.